That was a, a decent remix of Reach for the Stars, but I think I'm still partial to the original. But <laughs> regardless, um, yeah, this has been a long time coming, but welcome to the Sonic Colors Ultimate playthrough. Um, now, I'm really late to this because I have actually never played this uh, version of the game <laughs> because, well, I mean, we'll get into it as we play through the game, but this... Uh, this, this game came out, um, and let's say, it had a lot of issues. <laughs> um, there, there were bugs all over the place, and I that really disappointed me because I really wanted a, um, uh, like, a way to play colours that wasn't, like, on the Wii. Like, I, I loved the idea of having, um... A uh, HD version of, the, of this game with like more content and whatnot. So to see it come out and just be honestly kind of a buggy mess is a massive disappointment. So I basically just waited a long time to um, like to wait until things were patched, and there were quite a lot of patches. Um, and like they, from what I understand, they fixed a lot of issues. It's not like. Like, what much of call it? Like, it's not perfect from my, what I understand, but it's at least a lot better than it was at launch. So, hopefully, we don't run into too many problems. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically why it's taken me so long to do this because I just wanted to wait a while until a lot of issues were fixed, and it seems to be at the point where they don't plan on updating this game again. Uh, at least from what I can tell. I, uh, I, I could be wrong, like, we could get, like, a surprise update or something, but as of now, this is the uh, current state of the game, and it seems to be the um, final version, so, yeah, again, hopefully we don't, we don't run into too many issues here, and there will be a uh, decent playthrough of the game, <laughs> we'll see, because, yeah, the last game I, the last Sonic game I did was Unleashed, and that was a little while ago at this point, I need to... Well, this feels really weird playing this with a, with not a um, Wii Remote or whatever. But yeah, at least it was the last one I did, and that was a little bit, a little bit ago at this point. And I always had the intention of going to uh, this game next because, like, we already did, we already did Secret Rings and Black Knight, so it makes sense to just go right to, um, right to Colors, and you know, just kind of go through and compare how the original felt and like all the differences and whatnot, whatnot because I feel like it's a double-edged sword with this with this version like some I feel like in some ways it looks better and other ways it looks worse um like I feel like the main thing the main issue I have is they went a bit too overboard with the balloon like sometimes it's, it look, makes it look better and other times it's like fine doesn't bother me too much but then when you get to like stuff like Starlight Carnival and it's just like massive lights in your face just blaring and it's like over, really over overdoing it like that's that's when it's a bit much um, and I feel like I'm not entirely sure how I feel about like the how it generally generally looks visually because it's. Like, they redid all the lighting and everything, and, like, the, uh, what do you call it? Just everything is redone, um, and it's, like, I don't know, it doesn't look bad, but, like, I feel like it would have been better if, like, they just kind of upscaled the original or something, because there is, I feel like, <laughs> nice, a lot of random trophies, I feel like s some of these... Some of these designs don't, like, aren't translated very well into, the, like, this new HD design. I feel like they kind of wasted a... Like, I, I don't... I'm kind of stumbling on my words. I'm not <laughs> really used to doing solo LPs at this point, but... I feel like they could have just 
use the uh, original like uh, use the originals like assets and whatnot, and just upscale those instead of just making bra making missiles from scratch, and then just add a new content on like um, on top of that. I don't think they really need to do like the whole extra mile of just redesigning the textures and uh, lighting and all that because. Again, other times, it, sometimes it works well, and other times it just doesn't work as well as the original. Okay, so this is future editor Harry. So I, it's come to my attention that um, it's apparently not so easy to just uh, take the original assets of like um, the Wii version and just um, upscale it. Um, I, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I know everything about how um, game development works and how porting. Uh, stuff to different consoles works, but apparently it's not as simple as just porting things over. And I do mention a lot through this playthrough that they should have just done that. And uh, yeah, it isn't that simple. So yeah, I, I apologize for my ignorance on that front. Um, so it yeah, they they could have couldn't have done that without things just falling apart. So yeah, I I apologize for that mistake, but. Um, again, I don't know all the ins and outs of this stuff, so I. This is coming from a place of ignorance, so you'll have to excuse you'll have to excuse me on that. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the show. But, yeah, like tropical resort. It's like it. <laughs> I think this is fine if you like view this as like a nighttime aesthetic, but when you compare it to the original, it's like. Yeah, it's it, it's like <laughs> yeah, it's like it's at night time, like or I don't know, like it just it's not as vibrant or um, anything like in the original, and I feel like that kind of defeats the point of this of this level. But I don't know it looks fine. It's just it's just kind of weird. And yeah, it's good to know this stuff is still there. I do appreciate the um, like the time at the fuse thing at the bottom of the screen because yeah, it was really hard in the original to know when the um, w when Sonic was just going to stop in the result screen, but you know. He loves to hear his own lips flap, but I gotta hand it to the eggster. This place is epic. Yeah, and these cutscenes just ripped straight from the, the Wii that, version. It's a uh, sure yeah, kind of jarring. <laughs> because Eggman this is like the models and all that. Oh hey, uh, the models and all that are like not even remotely the same anymore. And it also uses like these cutscenes are like using the old Wii designs for like the environments and whatnot. So it's just just kind of jarring how like they didn't bother changing that or anything. It's like. It's still wow. like you. <laughs> you go from how it Ultimate looks, and you go back to how the Wii version looks, and it it's uh, I'm just surprised that it was not so the best. <laughs> like the you can just see the art styles clashing. It's just <laughs> yeah. They should have. They really should have updated those cu uh, cutscenes. Yeah, uh, this is the uh, debut of uh, the uh, current voice. Well, some of them aren't, like, I mean, some some of the characters keep cha get game voice changes, but, yeah, when Colors first came out, this was, like, the uh, debut, this and Freeriders uh, were the debut for, like, the new, new actors, and it was an interesting time, because, yeah, well, we got to the point where the four kids cast were doing really well with like Unleashed and Black Knight, and then like Colors comes along and like just restarts the whole. It's basically just a new era, um, and it's been heavily criticised by a lot of people in recent years. Um, and yeah, because like this game started what a lot of people call the like the meta era. <laughs> Um, like, new 
story direction, new voice actors, and all that, all that stuff. It's like, hey, what's going on? Huh? <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, God. I don't want to fault to colors too much for this because it's like, I like to see this game as like a breath of fresh air. Because like we had all the serious stories and like, um, globe trotting adventures and going through like magical books and like all these fairy tales and crazy stuff and whatnot. So I, I appreciate Colors for being a bit of a, a breath of fresh air. It has a very cool, um, like, environment, if you will. It has a, it has a really cool premise, like being an interstellar amusement park and whatnot. But I appreciate that, at for the time, it was, like, the simple, simple, uh, simple story, it was, oh my god, I am, I am not used to these controls whatsoever. Um, simple story, the, I mean, the, when you actually think about it, there are, like, pretty big stakes involved, but it doesn't play, the game doesn't play it out very seriously, it's meant to be seen as, like, a, cartoon like Saturday, like a Saturday morning cartoon kind of thing um, and it's like just a, a simple little adventure and um, nothing it's, there's no like dark dire or like crazy uh, backstories or um, new characters or anything like that um, and it's just <coughs> good old good old fun with like Sonic Tales Eggman and whatnot and yeah, for the time, like, that was fine. I I appreciated that just being a, um, a break from, like, the epic stories and um, whatnot that the series had grown used to telling at that point, by this point. Um, when it comes to, like, later games, like, Forces, Lost World, Gener Generations, <coughs> to a lesser extent, because that's an anniversary game. But... How do I... You want a wall jump? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, when it came to later games, that's when I started having an issue with it. And the fact that like these writers have gone on record saying that they barely know anything about Sonic and had to like look up cutscenes online. Um, yeah, that's uh, not great. I don't know why you'd want to get uh, writers that barely know your series to, you know, write for said series. Like, that just seems completely bass actors to me. Uh, but it is, it is what it is. And as for like colours itself, I like over the years I do have more more and more issues with the writing itself in this game. But it's fine. Like I don't have too many issues with this game in particular. Uh, in in ra in that regard, like what, what am I trying to say? Uh, okay, let me restart that. Uh, I okay, so I have I've had more and more issues with the story in this game over the years. But I don't hate it. I'm just kind of. I, I do get like enjoyment out of it here and there, but it's. As a whole, um, it has become one of the. One of my lesser enjoyed elements of this game. It's harmless, and I don't mind. Like, I don't. Like, outright despise it. But it is. Um, it's not an element of the game that I'm super into anymore, if that makes any sense. Yeah, again, it, it's been a while since I've done a solo playthrough, so my I apologise if my commentary is a bit all over the place. Kind of needs to get back into the groove of things, if you will. Yeah, di but yeah, th just this game was a just a new uh, era for the series because okay, remix. Um, yeah, Black Knight, I feel like, it de It definitely feels like the end of an era, like, with all, with all the um, callbacks to the adventure days, like, you have the art gallery stuff that, for like, fan-made artwork and whatnot, which, is a, which was a really cool extra in Black Knight, I got, I got stressed. Um, and it's like, it just feels like a, uh, a love letter to that era of the franchise, and it feels like the end of that specific um, era, because I, again, Carlos was basically starting, not necessarily fresh, but it was, 
it was definitely starting a new status quo, and I can understand why they would want to do that, because, yeah, at this point, um, there are so many complaints of, like, oh, Sonic's stupid friends, so we only want to play as Sonic, we don't want these kaiju monsters anymore, we don't want serious stories, we want something lighthearted, and all this other stuff that, whether or not you agree with it, uh, that was the general consensus at the time, and that's why we got stuff like Colors. Um, like, if you want me to be honest, I... <laughs> I don't... I don't mind the idea of Sonic being lighthearted, but my issue is the fact that, like, these stories kind of just have, like, <laughs> for lack of a better term, they feel like they have bipolar disorder because they try... I feel like this game has the try like does it the best with the comedy and um, with the comedy and whatnot. But then you have Lost World, which is trying, it's trying to be a comedy, but other times it's trying to be serious and like character driven, and other times it's just I don't know. It just, it just feels like it's trying to do too many things at once, and that's what I mean by bipolar disorder. Because like, then you get stuff like Forces, where like it's an actual war story, and then like they try to make it, they try to play it straight, but it's just done so poorly. And you get lines like, <laughs> what, "What is it? Like that's why it's called War Vector." <laughs> well, whatever the hell it, that, that line is, it's like it's trying so hard, but it's it just can't. And this. I feel like when they tried stretching this kind of storytelling into stuff like that, that's when it starts showing the cracks, but again, oh yeah, we also got a new Wisp power in this version. Uh, when it comes to like colours itself, again, I'm not super big on this game's story anymore. I think it's harmless, but it's nothing too special to me anymore, but it's like... At <laughs> But again, at least it's harmless. Like it doesn't. I'm not gonna lose sleep over the color story. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, the other games that we'll get to after this game are when I'm like I'm gonna have <laughs> a lot of things to say about that. Uh, but yeah, this this is a new uh, wisp power that is. Uh, I mean, it's cool that they added a new power. It's, it's based on the the ghost wisp from the Team, team, team Sonic Racing game, and it's, uh, you kind of just go through walls and uh, go find secret passages and whatnot, and I guess we'll see how that gets implemented as we play through the game, but I do, I do like the idea of a new Wisp Power being added in, in a new version, so I definitely have no complaints about that. I have heard a lot of people's issues with the implementation of the Ghost Wisp, but I guess we'll see. Oh, good. Um, I should probably stress this now, I don't plan this to be 100%, I'm just going, this is just going to be a, um, a straight uh, shot to the end of the game. I'm not going for all the red rings or all the S ranks or S Sonic Simulator or anything. Um, especially since this is, a, this is my first playthrough for the game, I do kind of want to, like, experience most, like, I, I do kind of want to play most of this on my own time and just, uh, take it easy. I, d I don't really want to do this whole game as a LP, so yeah, I'm I'm just going to do... Okay, that's all. Yeah, they moved some red rings to accommodate the new wisp. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Is there something up here? Okay, I appreciate stuff like that. Um, like, it's Expanding the ba the boundaries of a level to give you more some more stuff to do. That's cool. Um, well, first S rank, I think. Because yeah, the, there are some there are some levels in OG Colors that had like two goal rings or what have you. And because again, because of the Ghost Wisp and adding more sections to the le levels. Um, other levels that didn't have two goal, two goal rings before have one now, so, I don't know, it just, that's cool, it just, I, I'm always, I would always be open for, like, a remake adding more content. 
Now, wh whether or not it's good content is another story, but, like, I appreciate the effort. And again, I... Going back to what I was saying uh, earlier, I feel like it sh they should have just focused on adding to what the original had, as opposed to just starting from scratch with, like, the... Again, with the lighting, the visuals, um, the character models and all that. I feel, again, I feel like they should have just focused on upscaling the original, because it already looks fantastic. Um, like, ju yeah, just do that. I guess just more, like, change it, like, modify them a little bit to make them more HD, I guess. Uh, but you don't need to start from scratch. Like, just put, like, do, like, some little tweaks to what, what's already there, and then just add New, like this new stuff, like the Ghost Wisp, maybe even new levels, new uh, pathways, um, all that good stuff. And I feel like, I feel like if they did just that, um, Colors Ultimate would be a lot better received than it than it is. Because yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone would be happy. There would be hopefully at that point there there wouldn't be all these like new bugs that form because they started everything from scratch. Uh, like, it would look and play relatively like the original, just, just it would just look nicer, and you'd have all these new benefits that increase replay value, um, and just game time, and yeah. That, if I was in charge, that, that would have been the direction I would, well, I would have taken for this um, remake, remaster, port thing, but it is what it is. And boss time. 23, 24, 25. Ah, not nearly enough aliens. Want us to get more? It would also make I these cutscenes less jarring because if it be if the game itself yeah, still had the original's art style, like these cutscenes wouldn't Idiot. be Jack so like weird. Precious little aliens! I'll harness their hyper go on power and then nothing will stop me! I know I say that every time, but this time really nothing will stop me! <laughs> Boss? What? Sonic! <clears throat> Who are you calling nothing? Huh? He means since the boss said nothing will stop me, and Sonic here is going to stop him, it's like the boss was calling Sonic nothing. Great! I thought nobody would get that. Fine. You're so smart. <laughs> I think the other, take care of this the mess. biggest issue I have with this game's story is that I feel like it's it can I be a little bit overindulgent it with its jokes. Like, bye bye, I feel like there's a point where you kind of need to just shut up <laughs> and just let the jokes like speak for itself. Like you, you didn't need to Guess go over that whole explana stopping. explanation. Um, and no. yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, I don't hate it, but like, it's over the years I've noticed like it's it's not it's not the best. But you got you go, you deal with what you get. I guess I don't know. And time for like one of the easiest bosses in the world. Or okay. That was supposed to kill him, but I guess not. Uh, you wanna... Nope. Embarrass me? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I am failing pretty hard right now. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. That was a terrible run. Usually, like, I can just use the laser wisp and just basically kill him immediately, but, you know. <laughs> that is not going to be an S rank, that was awful. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, the bosses in this game are... <laughs> Most of them are kind of a complete joke.
There you are. Where'd you run off? And this is the I did a little shopping. Uh, first cutscene we saw in the game. Trashed a giant killer and robot. Where we oh, really? um, one of the first times we heard too? the new voices for Sonic and Tails. Hey, so I how's your translator thingy coming along? Uh, I think it's <clears> done. It's in binary code, so only I can read. I think Roger I'm Okay. Like 50-50 on Roger, like, he's definitely not my favourite Sonic performance, but he's fine. I do think he shines really well in, like, uh, Sonic Boom, like the TV show, well, just kind of Sonic Boom in general. I feel like he's a great fit there. Um, Kate Higgins' and Tails is, is, a uh, is great. I think, I think, uh, Kate Higgins and the, the current voice actress that I forget the name of, but... It's like Co Colleen or something, but yeah, the both of them do a great job voicing Tails, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll just stick with aliens if that's okay with everybody. Sure. So anyway, they're either being used for their magical powers. But like, it was definitely really jarring for Roger because he sounds so different from any of the previous Sonic voice actors that it was really weird to. Like, get used to that. Like, yeah, Ro Roger's performance is fine, like I said, and again, there are times when he's really good, but I, he's definitely not my favourite voice, I'll just, I'll just say that. Um, but hopefully in Frontiers he, he uh, does a good job. I should probably point this out as well, the, re the other reason why I'm doing this now is because Frontiers is in... During this recording, um, Frontiers is releasing in a month, like l a little under a month now, and I kind of want to uh, get through these other Sonic games before that comes out, um, because I, I don't know, I might do a blind LP, I'm still debating on that, <laughs> but yeah. Oh boy, I hope that doesn't bite them in the arse later. <laughs> yeah, Tropical Resort is a really good first level. I, I didn't really talk too much about Tropical Resort itself, other than the visuals, but it's a really good first level. I don't think- I wouldn't put it above Windmill Isle or anything like that, but it's definitely one of my favourite opening stages for Sonic. Sweet Mountain. Yeah, yeah the, <laughs> I, the, long lo the longer loading times compared to the original is so that's not great. <laughs> like, this is a PS4, this is substantially more powerful than a Wii. You'd expect it not to be that long, but it is what it is. Now, this is an example of a level that flat out just looks way better. Well, maybe not way better, but I do think this does look better than the original. Um, like, the the lighting pops more, and it's more... How do I drift? <laughs> oh, yeah, I swear. Okay. The lighting pops, the, there's, um, the visuals are more vibrant, and, like... It, it's like... some Again, it's like one of those things where, like... Sometimes the levels look better in the new, like, designs and art styles and whatnot, and other times it just... M maybe not necessarily looks worse, but there are other times when it kind of just confuses you, like, there's just some weird design choices here and there. But, yeah, this is, I, I have no complaints with this, like, Sweet Mountain looks incredible, and it's, all, it's always been, like, a really, a really pretty level, so... Yeah. In terms of um, dessert themed levels, Sweet Mountain will probably be up there as one of my favourites in that regard. Th there's a ton of different paths, pathways you can take. Um, they go all out with the dessert theme. You have these giant missiles that um, once they blow up, they like. Un it's not like a bunch of conf confetti and whatnot. And. And you get blown up by them, and you get and just kind of eat crap. Um, oh my god! Oh right, okay, that's another thing that they added. And there's some special rings that I think it's like you get a hundred rings, and uh, I just go over here for no reason. <laughs> um, and you 
turn invincible for like a few seconds. There's a few weird additions that Ultimate adds, like there's the tail saves, which I've been collecting a bunch of those. And it's like, in, as you, speaking of added things, sometimes tails will just say something random. Uh, good. That was weird. <laughs> oh god. It, yeah, there's like tail saves which will, tells will like show up and like save you from some kids. And I, I'd be like, I'd be more fine with this stuff if it wasn't forced on the player. Uh, like, I'm always down for giving players more options to make their playthrough of the game um, like more casual friendly if they need it. But. I'm not okay with it when the, when it's like forced down your throat and there's no way to uh, like get rid of it, if you will. Uh, like colors, is, it colors already is like probably one of the easiest on the games, so I feel like forcing a tail save onto the player is a bit much. Like again, if it was just if it was like as much as I don't like Super Guide, for instance, at least like you're never forced to use it. Um, but like with this, it's like, do you like tail save or do you, or do you not not like tail save? Too bad because we're gonna force it on you anyway. It's like player option is important. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, yes. Yeah, this is like one other thing that is kind of confusing as well because the original had these sections where. Um, like you drift or you quick step and whatnot, and it made sense for the original because because of like the, the, con the controllers you could use, like one of them being like a Wii remote on its side, which didn't really have a lot of uh, buttons to work with or anything like that. So I okay, that, that's interesting. I I I, I noticed that they make the wisps you don't have yet, like a, like a padlock thing. I, they don't do that in the original. I think you just see like a Silhouette version of the of the voice. Okay. Trying to do speed run strats, but it's fine. You can get up to that spring without killing those enemies. Wait, what was I saying? I yeah, in the original, like, they, they had those sections because, like, you had you could use, like, something like the Wii Remote, for instance. But the... But this version doesn't really have that excuse. So I feel like... I feel like they could have just... Uh, made it so you can map the quick step to the the bumpers and, this, and the drift of the triggers like it is in, like, Unleashed in Generations. I don't know why they had to... Yeah, thank you, Tails. I, I can see that. Um... <laughs> I know, I'm not really sure why they couldn't just do that, because it is a little bit... It does feel a little bit weird to have to uh, use the uh, the control stick and like the boost button for like the drifting and the quick stepping in this. In this. It's not... I, it's not too bad, I guess, because like... The, those sections never really last very long anyway, but you know, still... <laughs> and also just yeah that's one thing that never got patched Sonic's usually Sonic's usually supposed to like um have a much faster animation when he like like jogs to the uh, different levels but for some reason in ultimate like it's, it's just like <laughs> really, really slow uh, but like you can still hear the footsteps of like the regular animation it's just like man this version of the game just has a lot of weird issues <laughs> Giant, this giant case. 
Yeah, again, this is a this is a very good um, version of the original. I, I will I will stress that. Like, there are there are um, levels that do just straight up look better than the original. Yeah, we have the. I should also like talk about this because the yeah the original um words the uh, yeah colors in general like it doesn't use uh, rings as your boost energy anymore. It uses like these white wisps instead. So yeah, you have to be a bit, a little bit more conservative with how much you use your boost in this game. But they also added like the perfect permanent attack, uh, which if you basically if you like act, if you manage to uh, like permanent attack and like get that sound, then you get like a little bit of uh, energy in your boost meter, which which is nice, I guess. The, the the sound is a bit much sometimes, but you know. Oh lordy. And just... Let's <clears throat> get the... All the different colour powers. Yeah. So, I, this is another thing that Colors Ultimate does is it adds it adds new remixes to the songs. Um, like you have the yeah you have the like three new remixes for the tracks, and then like they keep like the original versions for like stages as well. And for the longest time. This was just how, um, like, you had to have the game, this is how the game had to have been played. Like, you had, like, you have the remixes and then you have, um, oh god, Ugh. you have the remixes and then you, and then you also have the, um, regular stage themes from the original, and you couldn't, you couldn't just have the original music, you couldn't just have the remix. Uh, songs, but thankfully that did get changed in an in update. So I'm pretty sure now you can just have it as the original versions of the track if you so desire. Which I like. Some of these remixes are fine. I'm like, I don't have an issue with a lot of them, but I do generally prefer a lot of the original tracks. So um, I I probably will just after after this LP, I, I probably will. Primarily play this game in uh, the like original, like with the original music, just because I, again for the most part, I just think it's better <laughs> to be blunt. Okay, I'll be honest there, that the ghost voice in that level did actually enhance it because um, I went through like that pathway that I went that, that I did and skipped a whole like section where you had to go up this slow moving platform, um, and it kind of takes forever. <laughs> so that definitely. Sp sped that up quite a lot, so credit where it's due. Yeah, that <laughs> running animation is kind of distracting, but yeah. I think what, they, what they're doing is they do the, the first three acts are like the remixes and then the Four, five, and six are like the uh, original tracks. Maybe, we'll, maybe it'll be different in like later, later worlds. But that's what this, that, that's what Sweet Mountain's been doing at least. Yeah, colors. Are, yeah, I know it's like colors itself has been like not even just ultimate, but just colors in general has been receiving a lot more 
criticism with its level design lately, and while it's definitely not my... It, Colors is not my favourite Sonic game or anything by any stretch, but it, I still really love this game. Like, I think it has really good level design and um, it, th there's a great incentive to explore these levels, especially when you have more, more colour powers and whatnot. And yeah, like, I've heard the complaints of like, oh, it's like blocky level design, uh, like too slow and whatnot. I say, you know, I'm just, let me just do that. And some levels I can kind of understand what they mean, but for the most part, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, <laughs> I don't agree with that sentiment whatsoever. I think these levels are great. Like, I don't love all of them. Oh my God. I don't love all of them. And like the last level we played with like the uh, laser gates and whatnot, uh, that's definitely not one of my favorite gimmicks. The the majority of the time, I do really like the level design in this game. I feel like it gets a bad rap for no real reason. Like it, again, it's definitely not my favorite Sonic game, but it's definitely it's definitely like a really solid entry. I, I have a lot of fun with this game, and there's like a ton of different pathways that, um, with the, the new park tokens now that I've been, I've been collecting like the, these like golden coins that I haven't really been like talking about <laughs> like at all, but like it's a new incentive to explore these levels. You get these park tokens, which, um, I, I guess I might as well, since I'm talking about that, I might as well go into the options and check that out now. But you um, get these park tokens and you go into the option satellite and you use the tokens to buy some customizations and whatnot. Let me see. Uh, I'm really sure. Uh, That's not bad. Maybe I'll go with that, yeah. Good um. Wow, that's awesome! Yeah, I, I do I do like nice little additions like this. Dark <laughs> Eh. I mean, oh, I only have two things anyway. Okay, we'll leave, leave it at that for now. But it's, it's, that's a nice little, like, nice little uh, feature. And, again, it encourages you to explore the levels more than, like, the, the original did. Which I'd argue already had a, a good incentive to explore, because you get you get to co like comb around the levels um, to look for the five red rings, and then exploring the levels is key to um, getting S ranks and whatnot. So it's just adding on to that with these like part tokens that add like customization options and whatnot is um, is a good thing in my book. Also, what the hell? <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, what? I'm confused. I'm gonna restart. What the hell was that? I feel like I did something wrong. Okay, so like, go down here. No. What the hell? Yeah, this is like... Yeah, you can tell that this is not... <laughs> what the hell? What? No? You can tell that this was not supposed to be part of the original, because uh, this is kind of, kind of whack. Right. So I want to go in here. Don't press A again. What the heck is going on here? Okay. It's, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> Not always the most, uh... What you call it? It can be a, a little bit messy with how they implement the uh, ghost quest sometimes. But it is what it is. Yeah. The perfect homing attack sound isn't as annoying as I was expecting, but... Uh, I can understand that being a bit much. How do I... how the heck? Can you not wall jump off this? Uh -huh. What the hell? Okay. Alright. That's fine. Oh jeez, that's not how this is supposed to go. Ah! There we go. Let's get there. Oh yes. Oh. I see. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> This is different. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Good stuff. Time for the next boss. If I was an alien in need of saving, where would I be? I guess it's also Curious worth noting that uh, when Colors well, Ultimate was coming out, it did come with a uh, little animation short. Um, it was like Rise of the Wisps or something like that. It wasn't half bad actually. It was. Um, pretty. Me that the best way to it was actually fa fairly entertaining and like. Had, had some decent writing for it, it was worth. Like, uh, Rise of the Wisps is like the kind of light hearted Excuse Sonic me, that I can, I can get robot? behind. Because, like, like, start, like, again, I'm, I'm not opposed to a light hearted version of Sonic. Like, there's versions of that, of the character, like, a Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, um, and Sonic Boom, where, like, if you get, like, the right kind of the right kind of writing for it, like, it can, it can do really well. The same as, like, a more serious take on the character, like, both of the, both of these styles can work, it doesn't have to be one or the other. So it's like, I'm not opposed, again, I'm not opposed to there being a more light-hearted, like, they, I'm not opposed to them going for a more light-hearted take for this game or even, like, the some of the other games. It's just the actual execution which leaves a lot to be des desired in a lot of instances, but you know. But yeah, this is a little bit more interesting than the first boss, because like, you have this first section where you're platforming across the um, like candy battleship thing, um, and like... you get the right it is always a specific like colored cannonball that has the drill wisp and it's different for both like times you got you platform through like across the ship so you have to keep that in mind but yeah it is this other than that though it's like pretty this is a pretty pathetic boss like even if you don't get the drill wisp you just kind of home and attack this guy three times and then you go back and you and attack him again three, and three more times and he just dies. Not really much of a fight, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I don't usually, like, I don't usually expect, like, stellar boss fights or anything from Sonic games. Some of the games have really good boss fights, 
Like, the ones in Unleashed, I think, for the most part, um, I think the Unleashed bosses are great. But, yeah. Yeah, Sugar Rush. Hey, Tails. You missed the BBBE. Huh? Best boss beating ever. So, God. is Yacker giving you any more information or limericks or whatever it is he's spouting? Well, first, remember, this translation stuff isn't a hundred percent. I do like, I, I do like y uh, Yacker, though. He's, he's cute. So anyway, <laughs> just the, I like how the... He's just a white wisp, but the he has like like squir like squirrely hair or whatever. Like a battery? No. Well, sort of. It's their life force. You only got a taste of it. Look at what happened. Battery is sort of an understatement. The funny thing, it was first translating as horrible body. Over. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of the translator jokes either. for that. Kind of. <laughs> who they call Baldy Nose Hair. <laughs> Baldy Nose Hair? That's the best thing I've heard all day. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> I know, I've already written it down. Anyway, he's draining them of their power, all their power, and using it for an evil aquatic mammal, an evil dolphin. I do think they. No, Sonic and Tails joking around oh, together with, with, with stuff like that is. It's uh, a. It would def It's definitely like in character. Like I can. I can definitely see them doing that. Um, yeah. I'm totally calling him McNoseHair. God. That's a. Uh, that's something that would. Like, they they keep running that into that joke, up to like I think Lost World was like the last time they used it. It's like. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't that funny the first time. I don't. I don't want to sound like I'm like a Debbie Downer, but like, yeah.